So a lot of you may have purchased a new Mini Kamado over the summer just to dip your toe in the ceramic barbecue world. And uh, you're looking at how best to set up, get the fire going and do your cooking on it. So I thought I would just prepare a short video to take you through the full process from start to finish of setting up the coals, lighting the coals, letting it come up to temperature and then doing your cook. So the advantage of having a Kamado is that you can reuse your coals that weren't used on your previous cook. So what I like to do is just clean out the ash from the last cook so it gives you the best airflow that you can. Knock any of the ash through into the ash pan at the bottom then I take out some of the larger coals just keep these to one side so you can pop them back on later take out the grate and then just knock any of the ash into the, the bowl or into the bottom if you're just going to be then shoveling it out so that's a modified dog bowl with a slot cut out it makes it easy to remove the ash and change it Once you pop that back in, it's uh, ready to go. Get your grates back in the bottom. So what I like to do is use these uh, little woodies, twisted fire starters. And on the mini Kamado, I tend to chop them in half with a little hacksaw and then just use one on each side to get the fire started. So let's have a look what we've got in the bag. Big K here. Great charcoal, large pieces. <laughs> Too big for this little cup, so we'll save that for later. So yeah, just get some handfuls of small charcoal in there. Start to pile it up. Make sure you get some good airflow over your wood fire lighters. Maybe being a bit too pedantic with the arrangement of the coals here. Get yourself one of these, fantastic for starting your barbecue. Don't forget to open your bottom vent. Start up the fire lighters, get them going. And that's it, literally leave them to burn. They will start to ignite your coals. What I'm going to do is just put up the uh, clock here. It's not a massive clock. It's just a zoom in of my watch, which is on the side. So you can see how long it takes. So basically now I won't touch this. I'll just leave the fire lighters to do their thing. As the charcoal starts to ignite, you can see that the edges of the charcoal just start to go white. That is uh, what you're looking for. So I'll give this about five minutes or so just to get started. Then I will add my deflector plate and the grill back in. You can now close the lid down leave the both vents open and this will start to bring your Kamado ceramics up to temperature. So you can see the temperature gauge is rising there as the clock is going round. So if you feel the sides and it's starting to come up to temperature, now is the time to start closing your vents down. What you don't want to do is overshoot because it's harder to get the temperature down than it is to get it up. So if you close your vents down at the bottom and the top, and that will start to stabilize the temperature of your Kamado. So this is where I just leave it now for another five minutes or so you should see that the temperature remains pretty constant. And if it doesn't, you can just tweak your vents uh, to let a bit more air flow through the top. And, uh, and that will kind of stabilize and just make minor adjustments if you need to. Don't forget to burp it uh, so you don't get any flare ups as you add the oxygen. And this is now ready to cook. So I've had some chicken wings marinating. You can do that while it's coming up to temperature. Or you can do it before and give it an hour or so while the marinade. Make sure you arrange them in a nice pretty pattern, as you can see here. Of 
close the lid and now you're cooking remember you don't need to keep checking it looking ain't cooking as we say um, we're going to leave this for about uh, five to ten minutes now Okay, so these have had about 10 minutes now. Just going to have a look. Turn them over. Getting some nice colour on those wings now. Okay, that's it. That's all you need to do. Close it back down. Let it do its thing. There you go, we're at the 20 minute mark now. Give them another turn, just checking for temperature. Looks like they are at safe temperature for chicken. So now we're just all about the colour and crisping up the skin a little bit. Just give them a little bit longer. So you can see the temperature has remained pretty constant all the way through this. And we're done. My little helper there is clicking away with his tongs, well trained. He's going to dish them up for us. So I hope that was useful for you and you got to see the start to end cook. And you can see that there was minimal effort involved in that. The Kamado, once it was up to temperature, just did its thing. Only checked it every five to 10 minutes. Just keep your eye on the temperature, make sure that is steady. And at the end of it, we had some very tasty wings. So thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe to get more tips. Loads of videos on the Mini Kamado, all different uh, food and setups for it, including the rotisserie. Make sure you have a look at the other videos and uh, you'll be able to see all the stuff that I've done on the Mini Kamado over the last year or so. So thanks for watching and catch you on the next one.